the unshakable bhungas characters pankhuri an 11 year old rabari girl kamal bhai pankhuri's father kokila ben pankhuri's mother prem ji bhai pankhuri's grandfather ba pankhuri's grandmother baba why are all houses in our village circular while the buildings and cities are like boxes why are you suddenly curious about the shape of the buildings kajal di our class teacher was teaching us about earthquakes on friday now i see where it is coming from in the lesson we came to know about the earthquake that hit us on 26 january 2001 How can I forget that day? It was Republic Day and I was 19 years old. I've heard that most cities in Gujarat were reduced to rubble that day. How did we survive unscathed? It is because the way we have lived for ages has made us immune to earthquakes and cyclones. Please explain that to her. I'm a bit busy. I've got to finish the lip and calm on the outside walls. Let Pankhuri ask her grandfather. Tatu, please tell me what makes us immune to earthquakes and cyclones. Well, it has to do with our history, our culture, and science. We are called the Rabari or Rahabari, which means someone who lives outside or goes out of the path. After an earthquake in 1819 that destroyed our region, the people of Kutch came up with the circular design of bhungas. which has been in use ever since you always wanted to live in cement and concrete houses and high rises like the ones in the cities haven't you it is their very shape and construction that made them collapse during the earthquake the circular shape of our bhungas with lightweight thatched roofs and low walls plastered with mud twigs and dung make them disaster resistant All the bhungas of our little village survived the terrible earthquake of 2001 despite being very close to the epicenter. These features guard us against the forces of both earthquakes and storms. Moreover, the mud walls of the bhungas are thick, so not much heat enters through them. The small openings keep the room cool in the extreme Kutch summers and warm in harsh winters. The art of bhunga construction is passed on from generation to generation. Now I can't imagine living in a city house with our regular sandstorms, the scorching days and the freezing nights. Lipan kaam on the outer surface acts as an insulator reflecting heat. A single lamp is enough to light up our home due to the reflections from the same mirror work on the inside walls. The walls are low, making our bhungas more stable. Also, the overhanging roof comes quite low, casting shadows on the walls and protecting them from direct sunlight. The roof is made of bamboo sticks tied with grass and rope. This again shields us from the heat outside. And the low, small windows facing each other keep the rooms airy and cool. What's special about our tribe? Our people don't need to go to the cities to earn a living. Our embroidery, block printing, and pandhani printing with natural dyes and lip and kam are famous the world over. Villages and towns across Gujarat are adopting our style of architecture. Also, conventional homes cost a lot. Bhungas are made with materials available in nature. Every member of our tribe has a home. Three cheers for our bhungas! Hip hip hooray!